Hello everyone and welcome back to Mindy's Coral Reef. I'm Mindy and today I'm going to talk to you about an amazing return pump by Ecotech called the Vectra. The Vectra comes in three different models, the S1, the M1, and the L1. And I'm currently running the M1 and the L1 on my fish tanks. During this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete rundown on what these models can do. I'll be going over all the specs, how to set them up, and how to maintain them for years of future use. And I'm about to get started, so why don't you get comfortable, take a seat, and don't you go anywhere. Ecotech's packaging, as always, is very impressive. It's ultra-modern and sleek, yet protective of the equipment. Inside the box, you'll find the pump, the quiet drive driver, and about nine feet of cable connecting the two. There's also the power supply with cable, the mounting bracket, and the easy to follow instructions. When choosing the right size pump for your aquarium, you typically want to go for a size that's at least 10 times the total water volume. The Vectra S1 boasts a 1400 gallon per hour rate and is suited best for tanks up to 75 gallons. The Vectra M1 is rated for 2,000 gallons per hour and is best suited for tanks up to 180 gallons. And the L1 model, which is rated at 3,100 gallons per hour, is suited for tanks up to 220 gallons. When installing your Vectra, you have the option of either placing the pump internally or externally. You also have the option of adjusting the position of the Vectra head to optimize the plumbing. When plumbing, you can either use PVC or soft tubing. If using PVC, make sure to use glue that is specialized for ABS to PVC. And as you can see here, I use PVC when plumbing my Vectra M1. Make sure to mount the driver using the included mount bracket and screws. When setting up the pump, it's best to calibrate first which allows you to set a minimum and maximum speed to match the capacity of your plumbing. For example, if you set a minimum flow during feed mode to allow slow movers to catch their food in ease, as well as a maximum flow, so no matter what may happen, whether power is lost or the control gets played with, you never have to worry about too much flow. You can calibrate manually or wirelessly through the EcoSmart Live using a reef link or through the driver. Flow can also be controlled manually at any time as needed with the use of the feed mode. Just hold down the mode button. This will last approximately 10 minutes before returning to normal speed and will allow enough time for feeding. By default, the Vectra pump is configured as a return pump right out of the box. You have the option of using either return pump or closed loop mode for operation. When using return pump mode for operation, you also have the options of using either speed lock, constant speed, or feed mode. When using the closed loop mode for operation, you have the option of using either lagoonal random, reef crest random, gyre, or feed mode. Ecotech recommends cleaning your pump every six months to lengthen the life of your Vectra. It's advised to disassemble the impeller housing and brush the inside of debris. It may be necessary to use a mild acidic solution, such as vinegar, to soak the parts or even run your pump in for a few minutes to clean thoroughly. All in all, I'm completely satisfied with my Vectra pump. On top of the fact that I've had no issues whatsoever from the start, it's completely silent. I have to say that the last pump that I had, I literally could hear from the room over. So using the Vectra, it's literally heaven sent for me. Thank you again for watching my review. I hope it answered some questions for you and helped you better understand the product. If you should have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Or if you're currently running a Vectra yourself, I'd love to hear your feedback on your experience. If you're currently looking for any other great products for your aquariums, make sure to check out my other review videos that I've currently posted. Again, I appreciate everyone who supports my channel. 
subscribes, likes, and leaves positive feedback. Your support means more than you know. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.